is up YouTube? It's your boy Mood Tricks and I am here to give you a rundown of a very important segment of my manga. This right here is the progenitors to a new generation of nons, the current generation of my manga. Now if you don't know about my manga nons, it's basically a parody, not a parody, no it will never be a parody, no no no, that is disgraceful. Now, nons is based off the life of Eris Moody. Now, we all know who the main character is, just for a quick synopsis, because this is a video regarding the Big Five. And if you want to know something crazy, Nons has five members. And those members start off with the main character, who's based off me, Gabaya Mudioto, a.k.a. Eris Moody, in real life. So! Gabaya Mudioto is the leader and protagonist of Nons, and his power is to create any weapon he can think of with any emoji, but it has limitations because he has to be able to use it effectively. Alright? So, the second member is Better Marshall, who's a skateboarder who skateboards while he fights. And he is Gabaya's second hand mate. And his third in command is Tito, aka Tiger Doe. So Tito is our breakdancer who breakdances while he fights. Now, Tito and Better are rivals. Rap is Tito because he is a breakdancer, he's a hip hop fanatic, and Rock is Better. So they are the rivals of the group. And Gabaya listens to both of them. Gabaya listens to both rap music and rock music, and that is why they are the dynamic three and the strongest in the team. Now, the fourth character, the balance, is Motohiru. Motohiru is the smartest character in Nons. And when I mean Mons, I probably mean the whole manga because there's a lot of smart characters, but he is the strategist of the group. His n name is based off that singer in the seventh opening of Naruto vs. Pain. Yo, so... Mori Hero's power is to control electricity, but he can only use them for defensive purposes only. Meaning he can only create a shield and he can only use his static string that will stun you for five minutes. I said five seconds in the Zap video, but it's really five minutes. But depending on how much hyphy juice he has, it will be only five seconds. Okay, so the fifth and final member of Nons is Keto, the who's mentally behind his age. He can blow spit wads, you know, paper airplanes, and, you know, kind of jalapenos, like childish shit is his superpower basically. He can turn like toys into weapons of mass destruction. That is Keto's special ability. So though you have it, there you have it my friends. One, two, three, four, and five. Yeah. So anyway, here is the big five before nuns, the big five that started it all. And we're gonna start with who created the big five. Okay, so if you kept up with the war video, you know the current ambassador is Iroku Furiyaka. So Iroku Furiyaka entrusted five Federation members to lead on the current generation and be the chosen ones to be in the new Congress when Iroku Furiyaka becomes the next elder god to pass on to the next generation. And you know, also the big five consists of the main character. I'm going to start off with the main character's father. Rogata Mudioto. Now, Rogata Mudioto is a two-time felon with a gambling habit. And Rogata Mudioto is one of the strongest characters in the Federation because he has mastered what no other members of Nons has mastered with his mood techniques. So he is the master of the mood technique, which is the strongest archetype in Nons right next to the Red Dodger family. He played a big role in destroying the Red Dodger family when they had the war. Now, what I mean by war, I don't mean the war to start at all. I mean the war between the Murioto family and the Red Dodger family. He has the highest bounty on his head, but his position in the world of Nons has to be a good guy slash anti-hero because the Federation needs him 
even though he is irresponsible, he is a compulsive gambler, but he is so strong that they need him. So it's basically like he is a warlord. His position now was a warlord, but he used to be a devoted captain, but he got into a bad drinking habit and a bad gambling habit that affected his responsibility to where he couldn't take care of Demo, Demo Murioto and he couldn't take care of Babylon Murioto and he sure didn't take care of Jit Murioto and he sure as hell does not know what Goodbye Murioto is. So, with all that said and done, he is one of the strongest characters in Nons because of his ability to control the emojis to the most extreme. You see, whenever a Mudioto declares something, he has to say like mood and stuff like that, like mood hammer, mood sword, mood shuriken. He is so strong that he can create a mood tank. So that's the difference in power between his son, who's only throwing mood bombs between Vergara and Mudioto's mood tank. Yeah, so Rogala was basically supposed to be, um, he's inspired by Barak, and he's supposed to be the Barak that continued in the series and fought alongside Goku in a way. So, he is a rogue person, <laughs> a rogue captain, but he is an anti-hero, and whenever he's on call, he's on call, but they need him because he is stronger than Daimon Mudioto and Bobby La Mudioto. And those two are stronger than Jit. And I just made a whole video about Jit, so you know. So he is number one in the big five. Okay, so that's out the way. So he has two rivals. Just like Gabaya has two best friends and nons. His first rival is Gabaya Sensei, Kazik Dachihiro. So Kazik Dachihiro, his power is to control anything natural. And what I mean natural is he controls the roots. He can summon animals. He can spit all four elements. But here's the catch-22 of Kazik's tax power. He is one with the environment. So if he does something that harms the environment, he's going to be affected too. So in order to balance it out, I made him a Kakashi-like character. Because yes, he has an OP power. But he also has a lot of high feet juice. And he has to learn how to use that power. You see, um... That's a big catch 22 within Kazik Dachihiro is that his power drains energy and also his power requires him to be aware of his surroundings. So he can't just destroy a whole city of flames because he'll be in flame too. It's not like he can fight fire with fire. It's not like he's got to do water with water. And plus there's limitations to his power. Like he has to be able to absorb a certain element that's already there before he can control it. You see, he can't just spit fire out of nowhere. He has to have it come from a source, you know? So he has to charge up his power. He can't just use it on command like that, and you know? So, Kha'Zix and Rogata basically were so competitive because Rogata can create, keep creating, keep creating, keep creating, and Kha'Zix can keep creating, keep creating too, but Rogata keeps destroying, keeps destroying, and Kazik has to think of a way to get through his strategy too because he was a captain. So their powers are pretty much even, and they were evenly matched as friend and foe because they both had that hack's ability to do whatever they want. Nobody knows who would really win in the fight to this day between Kazik Dachihiro and Rogata Muri Yoto. So moving on to the third and one of my favorite characters, and he will begin his own video, is Zofio Gamamochi. So Zofio is the third rival of these three, and they are have the biggest hate bonus slash competitive mindset when it comes to Zofio, because Zofio's power isn't quite as hacked, but it is on a different tier than theirs. Because what it is, is his power is like, I put it like this, their power is more strategic and his power is straight annoying. But he's very strategic and that's why it is so annoying. You see, Zofio's power is to control spiders. And he is the spider god and he is based off Orochimaru from Naruto. He is the boss of the spider gang. And he, what he does is he can summon spiders from the sky. I mean, from his web, you know what I'm saying. He can... 
summons fires from the ground that are big as shit. He can summon fires that explode. He can do all this shit. He can make a chain of attacks through his fires. His fires create fires and stuff like that. So he can do whatever a spider can. But there's a, also a, a, a hidden meaning behind it. And I'm going to explain that in another video. Like, oh, so you're saying a guy who just creates spires can compete with a guy who controls basically anything natural as long as he doesn't blow up the fucking plant and blow himself up in the process and the other guy basically is the same thing? Okay, so how the fuck can this little shit compare to these two? And I'm going to explain that later on to the video. Now, I'm going to explain the fourth member of the Big Five, which is Mistaku. Mistaku Sensei is based off Mr. Fab in real life, and his power is to control hydraulics. His power is to control whatever a car can do. He can combine cars, he can summon cars, and he can use reels. You know, like he can detach a car and use the reels for telekinesis. He is Mistaku Sensei. He can light a car on fire, he can gas him, he can do anything what a car can do. He is the bus rider. That is Mr. Fast Power. Is he controls mobile vehicles. So he can literally do any fucking thing he wants to with a vehicle. And he is very formidable. Now he doesn't really have a competitive mindset. He has a peace of mind. His personality is really, really chill, laid back. Contrary to Mr. Fast in real life, who's super dummy hyphy, you know, on that he's hella calm, cool, collect. He is that sensei. And he really just wants the best for his team. Now, going on to the fifth and final member, one of my favorite characters. Her name is Madison. Now, Madison's story is that she was no pushover. Now, before she had a transformation. And that transformation isn't until later on. See, what happened was her power was to control flowers. And Madison's power is basically like Poison Ivy. So that's why her and Kazik Dachi Hero were a perfect match. So C was about to marry Kazik. And the Big Five was chosen by Roku for the Yaka because all their powers balanced out. C was a Poison Ivy. She could control any plant that she wanted to control. So Madison, what happened was this. Okay, so the Big Five were killing shit, doing the missions of the Federation. They were... Known across the globe. Everybody praised the big five. Oh, Miss Stockwell's here. What kind of Mudioto? What are you doing? And stuff like that. They all were praising the big five. So it came around to a day where Kazik wanted to propose to Madison. So she said yes. And Kazik was really about to get married. He really found the love of his life. For Ogata at the time was dating Nanette. Nanette was an accountant who's based off my mom in real life. So... If you watch the war video, they know that they're exact opposites where Kazik is a nature boy and Mandy is a flower, Madison is a flower fanatic. So here's what happened, okay, so Madison came along. So Zofio, one of his biggest powers besides fires is instigating. He has a mind that's a criminal mind that Kazik or God just cannot match because what makes Zofio on par with them is his strategy and his conniveness, his sneakiness is what makes him on par with Rogata Mudioto and Kazik. So what happened was this, okay, so out of nowhere, Zofio, Zofio kidnaps Mandy and and takes her, take <laughs> Madison, okay, so he's based off Mandy, very worthy people, but he, t he takes Madison to the force and kills her. With, and like, and Kazik and Rogata hear about this and they go on a rogue. So what happens with this, they go to attack Zofio. And Zofio gets into a three-way battle between Kazik and Rogata. And Zofio is putting up a good fight against both of them. And they are wondering, I hate this fool. And they know he's that strong. So don't even ask me, like, how is he that strong? Because he keeps on regenerating, keeps on regenerating the spiders. And they cannot catch him in time. So what happened was... He left Kazik with the dread of his life that his partner, they weren't really best friends, but they were friends because they were competitive. Now, I want you guys to know that. These people pushed each other to their limits, so they felt betrayed by Zofio because they trusted him, not as a friend, but as a training partner, an associate that they needed in order to push past their limits. So they felt ultra betrayed. So Zofio... Zofio, how he escaped is he sealed his soul within the spider. It was getting down to the last minute, and Zofio was hitting crunch time and taking down two of the big five he could not do. But what he did was he, they thought he killed them. So he faked dead, but he sealed his soul within a spider. Okay? So within doing that, he 
infiltrated the fair races lab and he took one of the best students after Madison died. So Madison died and left Kazik Dachihiro with dread. So what Madison did is she so got a second chance of life just the same as Zofio has second chance of life. So what happened was um Zofio and Madison both had the split race. So Madison had second chance of life and they said the only way I can lead you back to life is if you turn pure evil. So what happened was Madison joined the evil organization that Jit is in right now. So Madison became a mod boss when this shit happened at the same time Zofio with his spider self infiltrated the Federation lab and he caught a hold of one of the best students Taihiko Sibushin. Because he still the soul within the spider, he tried to get away, tried to think of a way to get his body back. So what he did is he took one of the people who specialize in controlling souls, because that is Taihiko Sibusen's ability, as he can control ghosts, and he added on to Zofio's hex power by being able to seal spiders with spirits and shit. So now, not only does Zofio, thanks to um buttering up <laughs> Taihiko, but Taiko been a fan of Zofio for the very longest time. So he kind of had this guy back in his plan from get-go. So now Zofio has teamed up with Taiko and has made him his minion. And Taiko is already strong. So Taiko gave Zofio the ability to not only reverse his soul, but in order to seal other souls in his spider soul, he got a sample of Taiko, but let me just catch 22. This Taiko didn't have a chance to begin with because as soon as he got in contact with him, even if he said no, Zofio bit him. But Taiko willingly let Zofio bit him in order to absorb his power. So now Zofio can control souls and he controls spiders. So yeah, he is a very OP character because he can control souls through his web string. Like his, no, his, I'm not saying like web string like Spider Man, but I'm talking about. Yes, I have not made a name for the technique yet. But yes, he can have spiritual AG flowing through the spiral webs. And he is very OP. So, Madison gets her own video. Zofio gets her own video. So, without further ado, in conclusion, the big five were chosen by the Federation to lead on the next generation. That's why Rogata is the main character's dad. And... His rival, Kazik Dachihiro, is the main character, Sensei. So this is Mood Tricks, and this is the Big Five. And I want you to have a good day, people.